Yeah, hello guys. You are welcome to the Java Academy. So, and in here we are looking at another project. So, if you are used to the channel, you know that I actually have a preference for using projects to explain uh, different concepts. So, in here I will be looking at uh, we are looking at learning microservices. So, I will be using a project-based approach to learn and uh, master different aspects of microservices. So basically, microservices are the, the basically refer to a set of independent services. Each of them can is a, is, a, is an application that can work on its own. Okay, it's an, a full application on its own. But then it's actually uh, it actually communicates with other services that are all in, included in the microservice. So typically, if you look at the different services, you have user service job service, location service, all of these services will interact with each other and they communicate and send requests and responses to each other. So that's what makes it a, a microservice. So in the uh, looking at this architecture, right, our work is going to be basically a job application software, the likes of uh, indeed.com, the likes of jobberman.com, and so on like that. So in here, we will be looking at um, creating a microservice application for this job application itself. Okay, so um, this is how I've broken down the architecture. So we are going to have an API gateway that, uh, an API gateway as well as service uh, discovery. So these two here basically will be in charge of routing requests and traffic to the, uh, to the appropriate instance of any of these services that is required. Okay, so if you are trying to call the user service, right, it, you are going to go through the API gateway and then you have access to it. And the same way if you need to call the job service, it goes through the API gateway and so on. Okay, so after the service discovery, there is the aspect of the authentication system here. Yeah? So this authentication here is, exists centrally between the API gateway and then the suite of applications that we have, the suite of uh, services that we have. So basically every request that comes in here, is going to be filtered through this authentication system. So if the if the person making the request is authenticated, the other, the request is able to go through. Okay. So this is going to be served serve as a filter where each request is authenticated and then routed. Then after it's authenticated, it is now routed to the appropriate uh, service or instance of the service that we require. So inside this box here, basically, we have all the services that we are going to be building. So we have the user service here. So the user service basically does the user management aspect of this whole code for us. Okay, this is where the users will sign up. This is where all the, uh, all the user data is managed, kept, and then will be reused by every other aspect of the application. So we are going to be starting with the user service. After building our service discovery app. So, so we're working with our user service. Okay, so the user service has its own separate database, which will be a MySQL database. Okay, then aside that we have the job service. This is what manages the applications and then the jobs that are being placed on offer by employers. So all of those will be managed in this particular service. And this is going to be dependent on a MongoDB database. So we are using a, we are not using a table based, uh, we are using a document based database here. So this would enable us to have an idea of uh, how we can make use of MongoDB as well in, uh, in Spring Boot. So then lastly, we have the notification service. The notification service here will basically manage the sending of messages across uh, all of these different uh, services. Okay, so typically when you log in, there will be a confirmation that you are logged in. If your application is accepted or rejected, so there will be a message that informs you that your application has been rejected and all of that. So this will be managed by this notification service. In this notification service, we are going to have an email service. We are going to have an SMS service as well. So basically, these are all the different applications here. So another point to take note of here is the actors that are going to be involved in this whole application. So we are going to have job applicants, we are going to have the admin, 
So the job applicants basically are those who are job hunting and want to actually use the platform to get their dream jobs. And then we have the admin that actually manages the users that are using the application. They also manage the different jobs that are the different jobs and the, the applications as well. And then we have the employers. So this means that aside dealing with the specifics of this application, we also need to also enforce road-based authorization. Okay, so authentication is basically dealing with who you are. Authorization is dealing with what can you do. So typically an employer should not be able to apply for a job. The same way an applicant should not be able to post a job. So unless he has the authorization, uh, the employer rule or uh, authorizer applied to him. And then we have the admin whose job is just to vet employers and then maybe vet the students. So you are the applicants as well. So basically, everything here is going to revolve around these three categories of people performing different actions across these three services. So this is basically a summary of what we are going to be doing. And uh, we'll see you again in the next recording. So bye for now.